Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome or welcome back. I'm here today to share with you my update for Paint and Every Palette. This is a project that I was originally inspired to start by watching Paula at a Beauty Guru's videos like this. And the original creator for this project was Lady Pants a lot. We have the Zigster here. Hopefully he stays. For this project, I like to have palettes I work on in two different categories. The, all the palettes are randomly chosen for me, but the first set of palettes are shadows that I choose, and there's five palettes in that category. And then the second set of palettes, or three of them, is where the shadow is randomly chosen for me. So I currently have eight palettes going at a time. I am considering adding in a palette beginning of next year that's going to be like a project level up palette. That's a project that Sophie Alexander created. So we'll see how that goes, but I'm going to wait until the beginning of the year to do that. So let me share with you the palettes I was working on. The first category are the ones where I chose the shades. So we have the Sydney Grace and Talia Quintessence palette, the Kat Von D Lolita palette, the Juvia's Place The Festival palette. By Tarte, I have the Tartlet Flirt palette. And lastly, by Nabla, I have the Cutie palette in Wild Berry. And then for the palettes where the shadow was randomly chosen for me, I have the Natasha Denona Blue Purple Palette, the Odin's Eye Alva Palette, and the last one is a new one from last month, the BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival Palette. So the question is, did I hit pan on any of the shadows that I was working on? And the answer is yes. I have three pans. I'm so excited. Two of them I hit today with this eye look. Okay, let me share with you the palettes that I hit pan on first. The first two I'm going to show you are where I chose the shade. So the first one comes from the Sydney Grace and Tim Talia palette. And I hit pan in the shade The Milky Way. So there's the shade and there's my pan. You can see it glimmering there. This is a really beautiful eyeshadow. It was a beast to hit pan in, a beast. I have this in the very inner portion of my lid. It's a beautiful shadow. It tends to lean a little bit like gray, grayish pink or even lilac on the eye. It's interesting. It's not what I expected it to be on the eye. It's pretty, it's just not, I thought it was gonna be pinker, more pink. Anyway, hit pan on that, woohoo. The next one is from the Nabla Cutie Palette in Wild Berry, and I was working on the shade Venom. So there's my pan. It's this beautiful pink matte, like bright pink fuchsia matte. It's gorgeous. It's one of my favorite shadows that I've worked on in this project. It's so nice. And the last palette that I can roll out of this project is this one by Natasha Denona. It's the blue purple palette. I'm so excited. I was working on, this is where the shade was randomly chosen for me. So I was working on this shade here, which is Quicksilver. Let me flip this around. It's easier to show it this way. So you can see my pan in there. I am so happy. This is rolled out. It's a nice shade. I mean, it's very lovely. You can see my pan, right? Yeah, I'm right there in the very center. It's a lovely shade. I just don't wear shades like this very often. So it was definitely a challenge to find ways to use this. Like right now I have it mostly on the inner, like the center portion of my lid. And I topped a Terra Moons Cosmetics shadow on top of it. I mean, it's pretty, just not a shade that I would normally wear. So anyway, those three palettes are rolling out. So exciting. Okay, moving on to the palettes I'm still working on and the shadows in them that I'm working on. So the first one is the Kat Von D Lolita palette and I'm working on the shade Lolita. So it's this one here. I do have a slight dip going in this. Ah, this is probably gonna take me forever to hit pan in. Yeah, these have 0 0.04 ounces, which is quite a bit of shadow. So anyway, there's the shade. Next, I have the Festival by Juvia's Place palette. And I'm working on the shade ABBA. So it's this one here. 
And I do have a nice dip. This is probably the next one I'm going to hit pan in, I think. And it's lovely. But again, I don't know how deep these shades are. Or these pans are, excuse me. There's, oh, it's so gorgeous. Whew. And then the third palette I'm working on where I chose the shade is the Tarte Tartlet Flirt Palette. And I'm working on the shade Playful, which is this one here. Now, Tarte shadows take forever to hit pan in. This is going to be in here a while. There we go. Still working on that. At least the Tarte imprint is, or the Tarte imprint is gone. Next, I have the palettes where the shape was chosen randomly for me. And first up is the Elva eyeshadow palette by Odin's Eye. And the shade I randomly got was called Morning Glory. So it's this one here. I don't really have a dip going in there. These are small pans. So I have to be cognizant of my brush that's going in the, the pan. The shadow is so gorgeous. Yeah, I mean, I have a slight dip in there, but that's it. And I don't know how much shadow is in here. Yeah, those still have a pretty decent amount of shadow. Is that right? It says 0 0.043 ounces, like 1.25 grams. I am surprised by that. It's based on the what's on the back of here. It says that the total weight is 0.7 ounces or 20 grams. It's a lot of shadow. And the last palette I'm working on, and this is again is a shade that was randomly chosen for me, is the Weekend Festival palette by BH Cosmetics. And I got the shade Dippy, which is this bright pink. I think I've used this maybe twice. Maybe, if not once. It's gorgeous. That bright, bright pink shade. So nice. The formula is really nice on this one too. But I'm assuming that one's going to be in here for a little while. <laughs> So we get to pick three new palettes. The first two are going to be palettes where I choose the shade. And the third one is a palette where the shade is randomly chosen for me. So let's see what we get. So I have all my palettes in Wheel of Names, which is a website where you can create wheels like this. And I updated this list through my September haul. So it is 100% current, which is very exciting. So let's see what three palettes we get. So the first two, I'll pick the shade. Let's see what we get. Okay, the Charlotte Tilbury, the Easy Smoky Eye Palette. All right. And I didn't mention this, but I only put palettes in here that are five pans and up. Number two... Ooh, the Ciate Pretty Fun and Fearless Palette. Okay. So those are the two where I get to pick the shade. The next one is where the shade is randomly chosen for me. Let's see what we get. Oh, this is brand new. The Glam Light Hershey's Kiss Palette in Special Dark. Okay. Let me go grab these and I will be right back. Okay. So let me start with the, I'll go in the order that they were selected. We're going to start with the Charlotte Tilbury Smoky Eye Palette. So here's this guy. This is a six pan palette. And here we go. So again, I get to pick the shade in this one. I'm going to go ahead and swatch this palette on my other hand. So you can see what this looks like. Shadows in here are really nice. At least they appear really nice. Okay, so there's the palette swatched out. And I decided to roll in this shadow here, the second shimmer. I only have one other shimmer right now in the in my color story. So there we go. There's the shimmer. And so you can see what it looks like in the pan. It's this one here. And these don't really have shade names, but this one is the Enhance shade number two, because these are like trios. One, two, three, one, two, three. And so this is number two, and this is also number two <laughs> Enhance. They're just different color families. Okay, so that's one down. The next palette that I get to choose the color in is the Ciate Pretty Fun and Fearless palette. 
And this is what this one looks like. This is so gorgeous. Oh, I love this. So here are just a few of the shades that I swatched. The challenge is I have a few shades that kind of match these top three mattes. I have a shade, a couple of eyeshadows that I'm working on that's very similar to Fierce. So what I'm leaning towards is either Flirt or Jet Setter. I think I'm going to go with Flirt, which is this one down here. I figure Jet Setter is one I can really easily hit pan on, but because that's an easy crease shade, but oh, I'm thinking Flirt. Flirt would be a great all like outer corner shade. You know what? Before I decide on that palette, I want to see I get what, what randomly gets chosen for me out of the next one because that will help make my decision. For the shadow that's randomly chosen for me, I pulled this palette by Glam Light. It's the Hershey's Kisses Special Dark Palette. And when you see this, you'll know why. So this is what this one looks like. Now, if I randomly get this shade, then I don't want to pull another dark, like purpley matte in, more than likely. So let's see, we have six shadows in here and it goes one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to grab my phone and we're going to do the pretty, pretty random app and see what we get. All right, here we go. I have one to six in my pretty random app and I'm going to randomize. Got number three. What was number three? Okay. So one, two, and three. Oh, that's such a pretty shade. Oh, I'm excited. These don't have shade names. They just have numbers associated with them. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, oh it's a gorgeous shade. <laughs> All right, now going back to the Ciate palette. So I'm going to, let me check Fierce and Daydream. I I know I swatched Daydream. Yeah, I'm going to go with Flirt. That may be a bad choice, but we'll see. All right, there is Flirt. Of all these browns and then these bright, fun colors. I love it. Well, except for this one, but that's okay. Not really bright, but more colorful. Hmm. Oh, I'm excited fun. <laughs> okay, that is going to be my update for today. I am so excited with the three palettes that I rolled in. This palette may actually get featured in another video that I'm going to do. I think I'm going to film it today because I've got all the palettes out and I kind of want to get them put back away, but around like what palette should I pan next year for my pan that palette. So anyway, but yeah, I'm super excited with this color story. Anyway, that is going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you are doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Yay. So the question is, did I hit pan on any shadows? <laughs> next we chose, or next in the, the next palette that I have in the um, set of palettes, I, for the, for the shadow that's randomly chosen for me, I have this, oh, what's, what do I say? <laughs> okay, bye.